Uh, hi people, Marina Ray from the here again as usual. Um, as you can tell from the header, in this uh, segment I'll be discussing misanthropy. So yeah, let's dive right in. What is misanthropy? Okay, it's spelled M-I-S-A-N-T-R-O-P-H-Y as far as I know. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that right. Uh, not that I'm doubting myself, but you know, whatever. Uh, in any case, apologies in advance if I misspelled it. In any case, um, misanthropy by definition is a general disdain for mankind. So, a misanthrope is someone that by principle despises mankind. Or not just by principle, but for whatever reason. So, a misanthrope is someone that despises mankind, that hates mankind, that hates people in general based on principle. And, um, this might conjure up several images depending on who you are. Bias also comes into play. Uh, some people are of the opinion that people that are misanthropes are unhappy people. These are people that uh, are unhappy because they don't socialize with others. You know, these are the kind of the kind of, the people that think this about misanthropes. They uh, see basically they measure their own level of self worth or worth or value overall to socializing with others. So they have that. Um, idiotic notion of, um, of what pop media and pop culture portrays that you're supposed to have a lot of friends, you're supposed to go out partying, that that is the so to speak meaning of existence and the meaning of life and if you have those things then you can classify yourself as a happy human being. That will automatically give you sustenance and, um, uh, and will add value to your life which is obviously not true. Like so many other things that pop culture um, in terms of ideas, places upon people, it's nothing but nonsense, it's hogwash, okay? It's nothing but bullshit, okay? Pop culture tends, has a tendency to to paint, to, to simply come up with unrealistic ideas. But yeah, that's why pop culture in general is entertainment. This is not the drift off course or the drift off topic, but I'm just saying. Yeah, regarding misanthropy, um, what I do like to put out there, especially for occultists, because a lot of occultists, including myself, are also misanthropes. I, for example, am very misanthropic, as in, I detest mankind immensely based on principle. Uh, because as an occultist, as enlightened as you, as I have become, even if I say so myself, the more, en the more enlightened you become, the more you start disliking people immensely, and not just a little. Because you see the world for what it really is, and... You see how worthless mankind is. The lack of value and morals and standards is just appalling sometimes. To the point where you can say that animals are worth more than, than, than these so-called people. But mankind as a whole in general displays very undesirable character traits. I mean, of course people obviously, of course mankind also has positive traits. Okay, the striving towards enlightenment being one of them, but overall there, yeah, okay, mankind, there are more than enough reasons to hate mankind. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, what I want to put out there, first off, and I'm not biased, from a neutral perspective, it's okay to be misanthropic. Not, it's not only just okay, it's normal and natural to, uh, be, to be misanthropic. If you want already to become misanthropic. And like I said, especially as an occultist, this is normal. With your own spiritual evolution, the more you grow spiritually, the more you'll want to distance yourself from, from mankind as a whole, especially the mainstream. You're going to be a lot more selective because you grow spiritually in quality. And you'll become more self-aware. And as you become more self-aware, you'll, uh, you'll also see that... Uh, you'll also see the faults that mankind uh, has, of which there are a lot. And the more you see, the, the more pissed off you get, the angrier you get, and the, the larger your disdain and your hatred overall for mankind uh, develops further. So yeah, like I said, mis misanthropy is completely normal. Make no mistake. Okay? When is misanthropy not normal, you might wonder? Misanthropy isn't normal when you are in a bad or negative state of mind. If you find yourself in a position where life is misery, okay, and just think of the kind of guy that lives in his parents' basement or grandparents' basement, also people that, for example, that listen to heavy metal, etc. I listened to heavy metal in the past, I still love it, but uh, only in theory, I can't listen to it anymore, 
doesn't align with my state of mind. I mentioned that in a live stream uh, a good while ago, years ago, a year or so ago, I think. Um, yeah, point is that those kind of people in general find themselves in a bad state of mind, okay? When your life is, is lacking value and you find yourself stuck between a rock and a hard place and you go through life like a zombie and uh, you, generally speaking, detest people, then that's not normal, okay? That simply means that your mind is corrupted, that you're, you're not in the correct state of mind, okay? You're not, uh, you're not misanthropic based on facts. You're misanthropic based on personal experiences and negativities that you've experienced in your life. So you need to undo yourself of all of that mental baggage, all of that, all of that astral baggage, better said. And um, you need to undo yourself of all of that astral baggage. And once you've done so, then you'll see for yourself that, that you might be a misanthrope, but it's different. You, you will be a misanthrope based on facts, based on principle, but you have no problem socializing with others. But usually people that are misanthropes for all the wrong reasons, they do not socialize with others at all. They literally tuck themselves away in some kind of hole and they completely withdraw from society. Um, to the point where human, even when human interaction is necessary and that obviously does not work out well for them. So yeah, these are things to keep in mind, okay? Uh, you, where you'll encounter misanthropy, that's also another question that might come to mind for people. You'll encounter misanthropy, like I said, okay? You'll encounter misanthropy, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna exclude misanthropy for the wrong reasons, otherwise I'd say, hey, you know, like I mentioned, rock concerts, etc., etc. People in that world they are also misanthropic, but for the wrong reasons. Where will you find basically normal misanthropes, people that, like me, are misanthropic, but for right reasons, based on facts? You'll find them in the occult world, primarily. You will not find a lot of misanthropes, okay? Because misanthropy is, uh, is basically a trait that you develop, like I said earlier, as... as the more you progress spiritually, the more enlightened you become. And obviously there aren't a lot of enlightened people in the world, okay? And even if they were, there were, they, they, they're hard, they would be hard to find. That's my point. So you won't find a lot of misanthropes in the world out there. Uh, but yeah, my point is, especially for occultists watching this that are insecure about uh, the whole concept of being misanthropic and whether it's normal, yeah, don't worry about it. If it's normal to be a misanthrope uh, based on principle. It's not normal to be a misanthrope based on personal negative experiences and uh, a bad state of mind, uh, like I mentioned all before. Um, and of course, don't fall into the trap of, um, of believing what, what, what idiotic uh, mainstream uh, society and the unjust imagery that pop culture tries to place upon your shoulders or tries to imprint upon you that you're supposed to party all day and all night, that you're supposed to do drugs, you're supposed to have fun. No, 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 no. People that do stuff like this, these people are not only tainted, they lack value overall, especially spiritually. These people that live that way are usually disposable. Notice what kind of people live such, lead such lives. Usually there are these hookerish types, people from the lowest classes of society. And when I say lowest classes, I'm not referring to money. I'm referring to lowest classes as in spiritually vibrational low very very revolting you know people that i personally would not want near me nor are they allowed near me in any way shape or form and people that i hypothetically speaking at the very least would not be caught dead socializing or interacting with i know all of this because everything that i set up uh, that i've said in this video i know all of this not just from knowledge i know it from personal experience okay Years ago, when I found myself in a negative state of mind, I was down in the dumps, life was a nightmare, you name it. This was lifetimes ago, practically, for me, since I grow, my growth game is ridiculously strong, to say the least. Um, I automatically was drawn into that world, and I socialized with those kind of individuals, and I was like them. And to say that it was unpleasant, looking back, not that I look back, but hypothetically speaking, to say that it was unpleasant is the understatement of a lifetime. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay? I just, it's just skin crawling to think about um, 
think about how low I was back then in terms of uh, overall value. So yeah, that's all. See you guys later. Bye.